All right, we're locked out of the house. I can't make this up. <laughs> so, oh my word. We were out the door to go to the post office. Um, had like, I don't know, like 40 packages to go out in the mail, right? Our mini was like, I have to use the bathroom, it's an emergency. So I run up inside. Of course, I take the keys with me, unlock the door. He uses the bathroom, does his thing, and I brain farted because I'm like, oh, the. I don't know what I was thinking. Like, in my brain, I remember thinking, like, out the door. I was thinking, oh, I forgot the keys. And then I looked at Tony in the car and I was like, oh, never mind. The vehicle's running. I'm fine. And I locked the door. Like, I twisted the lock and I shut it. And so we're locked out of the house. Um, just got off the phone with the locksmith. Hopefully we get in. Um, I got some I'm, special keys here if we could use them. Yeah, we can't use the other. We have another vehicle. Those are the car keys for the other vehicle. We actually don't have the car keys for the vehicle we're in now, which is already on. So we're just leaving it on because we're like, all right, we have to get these packages to the post office um, because they're everyone's bugs. So one second. Um, we could use these keys, thus if it fits. Um, it might work or not. Yeah, probably not, baby, but that's a really great thought. Love him. So, Danielle sails in an hour. It's What Not Wednesday. I'm supposed to be streaming with her. She's super sick, so fingers crossed the locksmith gets to the house and unlocks the door, and we get in the house before one hour. We shall see. We shall see. Freaking hot mess mom life. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> How was the post office? It's fine. All right, we have three minutes to get to the house. That's when the locksmith's gonna be there. Okay. Do you think you can make it? Cause we're kind of far. What? <laughs> we're like five minutes from the house. All right. Any Grand Theft Auto skills that you took from the video game? Now's the Why time to use to it. Why do we have to get to the house fast? <laughs> Oh Why do we have to get to the house fast? Daddy? What? Why do we have to get to the house fast? Mommy said so. <laughs> Alright, just for the record, we are not speeding, but it just sounds ridiculous right now. Bless his heart. Well, it looks like our house is getting um, unlocked. Thanks for trying, honey. I love you. Mm -hmm. Barely made it. Bye. All right, I'm streaming with Danielle. In 30 seconds, we got in the house. Dinner is done. And now, I'm about to run things with Danielle. Super excited about her sale. All right. So, I'm adding books. I'm adding books. It's Wednesday. The sale's in an hour and a half. Um, Tony, poor guy, he's so tired. So I'm gonna add books. He's gone to bed. I think he's sleeping now, maybe. But I'm gonna add books to the sale. Like we had 26 because we usually um chit chat like quite a bit back and forth. But since he's not gonna be there, um, I'm gonna add in probably like six books. I just added Web of Spider-Man one, the Charles Vest one. That iconic painting one. It's like the third series of Spidey. And I'm going to add some black suit action. Spidey vs. Fire Lord. ASM 269. I think this is like a 19. This is a 65 center. Probably like the end of the Bronze Age. Right at the beginning of what they call like the copper. So like 19. Somewhere in between 19. 82 and 1986 question mark maybe this book looks so good white pages let me show you a page that's like really awesome not just a uh, fire lord one of actually spidey in action it's dope this 
book is clean. That's why I picked it. I pulled this out of the the silver bronze um, collection. There's some copper stuff in there. Um, the only thing wrong with it is it has a dimple like right there, which is dope because it's not color broken. It's white on it's right on the white, which means I don't know if someone will press this. So it ain't no ASM 300. It's still super cool, but this book is awesome. So I'm gonna add this in today. It looks like a very fine near mint, so it's gonna be a B a plus today. So I don't want to be happy with the books. Oh man, I hate when I do that. Wrote on the wrong side of the sticky note. That's why I want to be happy with the books. I don't talk about it in sales. Because then, like, I don't talk about it in sales. Like, oh, yeah, like, I grade everything down. Because then they'll, like, you know, like, if I put, like, a very fine plus on it. And I feel like it's a, actually a very fine near mint. You know, I just want people to be happy with their books. If that makes sense. Plus, I don't work at CGC and I don't work at CBCS, so I feel like, not that I don't have the right to put the grade I feel like it is, because I like, I studied the Overstreet Guide and I've, you know, graded hundreds of books and kind of come back and, um, like, kind of like testing myself on the grading, so I'm pretty confident in my grading and I still go back to the, the guide when I need to and stuff, you know, I have that freaking thing pretty much memorized, which is nuts, but it's been a few years using that. Um, I don't know. I just, like, it's not that I feel like I have, I don't have the right to put, like, the grade, the exact grade I feel like it is, but I don't work for CGC, I don't work for CBCS, so I feel like I don't, like, have, I don't feel like I, sh I just feel like I need to bump it down a grade. I don't know, I'm trying to find words and it's not happening. Do you get what I'm saying? Female brain, we'll call it that. Female brain, mom brain, whatever. Some chick's gonna watch this and get offended, I'm sorry. Oh, there's a color break. I knew it, there had to be one. Sometimes when a book looks too good, that's one thing I've noticed. When a book looks freaking perfect and it is not modern, like it did not just come out, within like the last year or two, nine times out of 10, there's always something wrong with it. The worst time that that's happened was with the first Venom cover, the one where he's like ginormous on top of Spidey. ASM 316 or whatever, I don't know. We were looking at one and Tony brought it out and it looked like a 9-8 candidate and I pulled it out. I was like, I was like, Tony, there's got to be something wrong with this book. There's no way you just found this and it looks amazing. And it looked so good. Pulled it out of the bag. The back was great. And then all of a sudden you smell this horrid smell that it like obviously didn't smell like a trash can because that's like a little bit extreme because a trash can's kind of like ooh, trash, you know. But it had like a hint of like trash can yuck smell. And like you like opening it. There was like, it looked like someone was eating and like food fell out of their mouth and it molded in the book. And so inside the book was a disgusting furry beast. That book was a no longer an Indian candidate in that moment. That was probably the worst time that that has been correct. Anyways, there's a color break and it hurts so tiny. It's right here. It's so tiny. When a book looks perfect, that's when you really have to go like, really go ham. There it is. Ooh, there it is. Yeah, that uh, that really, that really hurt. Because it's perfect everywhere else, and it only has that little tiny color break on it. Because it basically looks like a near mint plus with like an eighth of an inch color break on it. 
like it's really tiny i don't even think the person that gets well if they watch this video chances are they probably won't see this maybe i don't know whoever gets this probably won't even see that it's so tiny so i'm gonna put a fine very fine oh cringe and i wrote backwards again it's probably better than that it's probably better than a fine very fine but it's a fine very fine because you can start having tiny tiny color breaks on like a bf minus if it's like if it's on the margin like in the corners like the corner corner i mean like on the brim on the edge tiny you can have a color break at a very fine it can start getting on the page at like a very fine minus fine very fine but it's got to be like really small in my opinion. All right. All right. Okay. That. Midnight. Holla. I'm going to throw in some midnight. I promised midnight anyways, and I almost didn't do it. All right. The back of this book is freaking clean. Let's see. Oh yeah, I'm so excited for the show. Oh my gosh, Bill Siankovich cover. Ah, oh, I knew, I knew this one. I grabbed it and I'm like, I'm grabbing this book for a reason, but I can't remember why I'm grabbing it. Like I was like grabbing for a Moon Knight book and I want something dope because I promised the Moon Knight tonight. And I forgot to put Moon Knight until like the last second when I was like, oh, I'm going to add books. Oh, yeah, I need to add a Moon Knight. When I saw this book, this book needs a press. Let's see, it's a little bit lifted. That's one thing I don't do either. Like, I don't like grade something as if it's been like, oh, press this and it'll be a very fine. It's a very fine with the press. I don't grade like that. I'm like, well, yeah I, I what i do is i tell people at the end because i never want and you'll see that me do that a lot because i don't want to change the value of the book in the moment of the auction if that makes sense like like if it needs a press i'll make sure to say like hey when you get this book don't just send it to get graded we have a lot of customers who are new i'll be like grade this book it's probably gonna get a grade bump why i didn't do it is because we have a bazillion other comic books this one's awesome you got a good deal da, da, blah blah all right so anyways has a little bit of a lifted corner nothing's color broken chances are this was in a crappy bag and board in someone's collection. It got slid down or whatever. It got bumped a little bit. But I'll show you guys why I picked this book in a second. So nice. There's a couple of color breaks um, on the spine that goes a little bit past the spine. So like, it's like right here on the staple. It like it like comes into about here so it goes into the page like into the cover not a lot it's more of like the crease portion of it but there's still like color break there so with that said i definitely don't feel comfortable calling it a very fine mint near mint um grading so subjected objective and i just never want someone to feel like disappointed in their book i always want everyone to feel like they got like what they paid for so with the lifted corner which isn't it's not color broken or anything like that this book's this book is really clean i'm gonna call it a very fine because i know um i know if this person gets this book pressed it's gonna be very fine near mint for sure 100 but just as is, it's probably around the very fine with that lifted corner. And I just feel 
comfortable with that. See, I'm like talking out loud. These are the things that go on my on in my head. I haven't forgotten to show you guys this incredible bill. It's the yoga beach cover. So this is the first meeting of Moon Knight and Brother Voodoo, and it's pretty dope because they're on the cover together. Moon Knight, Brother Voodoo action. Freaking sick. Bill Sienkiewicz is a beast. He's so good. Such an incredible artist. Alright. Alright, this one was signed by Bill and Shooter. This collection this came from he was a huge Jim Shooter fan. Um, he's the editor for a lot of stuff. I've never met a Jim Shooter fan like him. So, okay. This, I couldn't see in the bag. There's a lot of defects that you'll have to see. And, don't want to take this personally. But this is just my thing. I cringe really hard when people grade through the bag because there's so many defects you just can't see until you pull the book out. Like I, like although that lifted corner is like super petty and it's really nothing, um, it's still a thing. And like if this book had like no spine ticks on it at all and it looked like, you know, someone might say like, oh yeah, this is definitely a 9-8 candidate or it's like a 9-8 or straight up say like, it's an it's a mint but then you have to pull out the bag to see like that the corner is a little bit lifted it's the same thing with this is like there's a there's a color break on this cover that's so thin that I could not see it in the bag never be afraid to ask people if they don't have a grade on a book I say this all the time if you don't if there's no grade for the book like and you're watching the show or you're in an on eBay or wherever you're buying a comic book even a like a show like in person never be afraid to ask to see a book out of the bag because a lot of times there's going to be things with the book that you just can't see through the bag now I don't even think you could see this in the corner and I'll show you I don't even okay you can I really couldn't see that very well in the bag and that's just one of those um like um stuff out of the bag anyways and rant that's my TED talk on that now I've had books graded with that same corner crease where basically it just looks like the book got the corner got bent down um, and it got color broken and they usually come back depending on the appearance of the book, anywhere but around a fine minus and a BG fine. Now, where this book is super clean and the pages are incredible, I'd say this is cool. hitting this at a BG fine might be a little severe. But if I'm going to say it's a fine minus, I'm going to say it's a BG fine. Another thing that helps too, like if you don't have a grading guide, if you have like a, like books that are graded in ranges, um, it's really nice to like have that as reference because you can look um, at the books you have and compare them. Um, to the books that you do have that was has always been like really helpful. It's like um, sometimes when I'm grading those older books, I need to have like books of lower grade to like really like look and compare another thing that helps too is if you go on ebay or go collect and look at that same book and that try to figure out the condition of it that's helpful too especially when you're looking at like black covers black covers can be freaking dangerous those ones are it can be tricky so i'm adding this to the sale for tonight 
gorgeous. And I'm feeling fun, so I'm going to add another slab. I last minute added ASM $2.99 um, at a $1 star pig, and I'm going to add this too. It's our first full appearance of no. Let's find them three. Yellow. So it'll be fun. So added some books. All right, I have an hour and 20 minutes. I'm going to upload these. I need you, my phone, to do that. And then I'm going to get ready for the sale. Yeah. Should be fun. Alright. I'm ready. I'm ready for the sale. I got my books. Auctioning off the two slabs. Books there. Got my iPad. My energy drink. Brush. Lip gloss. I don't know why my lips get ridiculously dry during sales. I can't go without lip gloss. Can't go without a drink. I'm ready. I'm ready to stream. I gotta go. <laughs> gotta get the music ready. I'm excited. I'm super pumped. I like how it goes. All right. So the sales over went super, super good. There was a few like glitches with the app. Whatever. It's fine. Um, so I didn't get to run all the books. I think I had like five left over. I'm going to roll them over to Friday, but the sale went really good. Um, the last minute slabs that I put in, um, they did good. I really felt like, um, the two people that had gotten them, they got good deals cause they, they sold a little bit under, um, fair market value. So that's super cool. It seemed like they went to like really good homes. They were excited about the deals they got. So that makes me so happy. Um, there was like two books that... It's hard to say. Like, to me, I feel like they went high, but I know they're, like, they're newly hot books. One of them was, like, a Morbius book. I know Morbius is coming out, but, uh. And one of them was a Moon Knight book, and I know Moon Knight is coming out soon, but, uh. So, <laughs> I don't know. They probably went where they should if I were to, like, look the numbers up online. But I'm still going to add books to their thing because, I don't know. I just feel like I want to add value to their package so I do that like it's like one of those things I was like talking about today in the sale like more times than not books sell under what they go for elsewhere but you know we are technically a shop we don't have the brick and mortar portion because Tony's in the military so we just have to be able to uproot everywhere so we're a virtual shop right so just like shops do we buy a large very very large collection so for me, like when books sell under, like it's okay. I'm glad someone's getting a really good deal. I get to be a part of their collection and stuff like that. So like I feel good when someone gets a really good deal. Now when a book, when it sells high in my own opinion, you know, that's obviously everyone that's bidding on it. It's not like the same opinion. Like we also obviously have different opinions about that. If I feel like a book sells high, it also makes me feel really good to like, to add to that person's stack. So it's like one of those things where I just like, I guess the, the main thing is, is I want to feel like, like I want to treat others the way I would want to be treated. I want others to like, I want them to like open their package of their book that they got. And like, they get like this extra book that like pairs nicely with it. Like the one, the Morbius one that, um, I felt like went a little high. I'm going to add another, like an older Morbius, like a bronze age Morbius into that modern age one. I think they're going to love it. Um, and then the Moon Knight one, I'm going to add in another Moon Knight book that I think that they would really enjoy to like pair with it well. So like, I don't know. It's just that balance of like. Not like selfishly like, oh, I just want always want to make sure like I feel like good about it. That's what I'm saying. I just want the recipient to, whether they got a good deal or they got something extra. I just want them to feel special. I want everyone to feel special. I think that's just it. Words. It's midnight and I can never find words. I can't find words ever during the day. But everything went really good. It went well. It was fun. Had a great time. Um, now I am going to finish getting ready for Friday sale. I'm going to add in this. This is going to go in. I'm like, we need to add something dope and fun into Friday night sale. So this is going to go in $1 start bid Friday night. 
first appearance of Cindy Moon. Silk, Ramos, one and 10. Retailer incentive, CBCS 98. So this bad boy is gonna go in $1 star bid on Friday. And then Tony's doing mainly, um, I think he's going to do mostly coverage on that sale. There's some older stuff, like there's some like early Bronze Age. I think there's a couple moderns in there too. So, anyways, yeah, it was a really good day. It was a fun day. Um, started basically the day pretty much started with getting locked out of the house. Thankfully, that all worked out after our doorknob had to get drilled out um and yeah I am going to get to work because I have Friday's books to finish getting ready Saturday books to finish grading and yeah hope everyone has a wonderful day thanks for watching another vlog thing and catch you later guys bye